Okay. I think this is fucking working. I don't fucking know. I'm struggling to figure out why this sucks. Okay. I think this is fucking working. I don't fucking know. There we go. All right. What's up, everybody? Uh, yeah, I wanted to play some... Uh, just wanted to play some shit tonight and not get too focused on it. So I was like, you know, I haven't played PS1 games in a while. Hello, Master Luke. Uh, hello, Celtic. Eddie T. Hello, Green, Green Lizard. Um... I don't agree with you that the new God of War games suck. I don't think that's true, but I definitely think they're different, you know, and, and that's kind of, you know, what, what the hell? Uh, your mileage will absolutely vary, but, uh, man, I just cracked the shit out of that. Well, clean up on aisle, go fuck yourself for Spukaki. This is, uh, here's the thing. I've never actually played all of this game before. Hello, Cortez. I have no intention of playing any game to its conclusion tonight. I'm just tripping down memory lane. So, if there's a PS1 game, you're on lunch. What the fuck time is it where you live? Rick here. It's like I'm 10 o'clock. The place is deserted, though. I have a very bad feeling about this. How's the progress going with that security system? I don't know what's been going on Man. here, but it looks like all the power in the facility has been cut. Are you Same shitting here. me, Dark Nugget? As long as that's the situation, there's not I a lot literally I was do. playing Apocalypse Why like ten you minutes ago. You can gain access to the backup generators on the ground level. I'm on it. What are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. By the way, this I is found Dino Crisis. Hand it over. Let's head outside. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? This was a while ago. It wasn't that long ago. Now you can make this almost in your fucking sleep. It's the craziest goddamn thing. This was AAA at the time. How is that possible? That's why I keep telling people about, you know, games and it's going to be this, it's going to be that. Hello, Mitoker. Um, it's like, no, it'll never. It's like, dude, this was just like 30 years ago. Uh, Samurai says, I was given this game with Final Fantasy VIII. First video games ever. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine? playing uh, Final Fantasy when you were A, I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, I, I wouldn't know what to do. Uh, I mean, tank, cr tank controls take some readjusting to. They're okay. I mean, I don't, you know, it's certainly not my preference. Um, but I understand it, you know. Uh-oh, uh-oh, somebody's dead. That's disgusting. Wow, that's disrespectful. This guy's been eviscerated. Something tore his intestines straight out. Intestines. Look at those tooth marks. It Samurai, had to be some sort of animal. I never really got into Silent Hill, no. I might need to try okay, it again. Okay, let's move on. Master Luke, I'm trying to remember if uh, tor uh, whatever that Torment game was that came out last year. Um, I'm trying to remember... Uh, If that had tank controls, or maybe it was a setting you could do them with or without. You don't think so, VP? I mean, there are a lot of original games being made, but... Same old argument, though, man. Argument is... If you want AAA got to be willing to deal with the conservative mindset of the people publishing them. Your childhood, 84. So when this came out, you were like 10 or 11. That makes sense. What is uh, DeNuvo? I don't know who that is. What did he say? I mean, yeah, the old God of War games definitely had a different tone, which I would still, if I was still, hang on, um, uh, if I was still working on a God of War and I was able to convince Sony, I would absolutely go that route. 
Uh, I'm that's what I like about it. Uh, Danuko is DRM. He said the N word. I don't really understand what your point is. There is a switch. Will you press the switch? I will press the switch. I doubt much will happen. Uh oh. Um. No. I will not press your switch. Hello, Diego. Good to see you, buddy. What's going on? There are three buttons. Which button will you press? I will press the center button. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. This is a, this is a brain teaser. I'm with you on that uh, way of the Lao. I, I like the Greek mythology a lot more. Can I rank the first era of God of Wars? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, hang on one second. Let me remember. Red, blue, green. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, red. I will press the right button. And I will press the middle button. That'll do it. No, no, no. God damn it. Um, they tweet led something about emulation dangers. Yeah, I don't I don't really even know who that guy is, so uh Uh, well, mid toker, it's, I mean, obviously it's different when you go back retro wise, but I mean, these games are real easy to get a hold of now. Um, I don't know enough about Norse mythology, Bukaki, to know how faithful they were or weren't. Um, I didn't think that the mythology was terrible or anything. I just thought that particular game was kind of slow. And I, I it lost my interest, you know, within a couple. Okay, I need a battery. What's this thing? Power distribution. Fuck you. Okay. Oh, Colony Wars? Yeah. Yeah, Cygnosis made those. Yeah. Um, no, you're right, Mitoker. It's not the same, for sure. That's your problem with the new God of War is there was a black girl in it? Come on. Now. Oh shit. Yeah, Celtic, I'm I agree. I don't I have nothing against the humans. You're saying you're saying that uh, what makes that particular game not accurate, Norse mythology, is that the character was a black uh, black kid, and I'm saying that I would imagine that oh the game's a bit loud okay, um, I would imagine that um, hang on if genuine accuracy to Norse mythology was the concern which I can appreciate, um, there probably were much greater offensive scenarios, right? Um, uh, dinosaur horror games, Arth, I mean, you know, look, w what was the one, we were just playing uh, Exoprimal, but that's not horror. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's maybe since, wasn't there a Dino Crisis 2 or no? Did they ever come out with a 2? You said we're in the golden age of gaming. If so, why does it seem failed titles and negative reviews? Uh, because if you're only playing on console games, you're only playing um, uh, AAA games, then I totally respect and understand why 
that would be your perspective. But if you play on console and you play indies on console and you play double A uh, and indies on Steam and Itch and all these places, uh, it, it's it's a it's hard to sort of uh, vibe with that complaint that oh gaming's really shitty these days. But sure, I mean if you're you know. If you're hardcore into AAA shit, I, I totally get it. System. I get why Back you would feel that way. What's the situation over there? It's Gale. I lost him. I know it's Gale. <laughs> I just called you. So what's the bad news? Did you run into some guards? You're not gonna believe this. He was attacked by some kind of dinosaur. <laughs> oh, now that's a good one. So, who was it? Barney? This isn't a joke, you idiot. We were just attacked by a big ass lizard. For real? What's going on over there? Uh, you wanted to see a horror sex scene? Head yeah, I think that might be a little bit beyond the, uh, this whole situation. the rating that Sony was willing to accept. Um, destination. My position. Let's go. Let's go see this dude. Although, uh, I'm confused already. Uh, where am I? I'm in all those places? It does me no good. Let me walk forward. Let's see what you She kind of looks like Meryl. Meryl. Did I move? Okay. Uh, this map is somewhat odd, but we'll keep going. Um... I liked, I liked the new Mortal Kombat movie. I mean, it was, you know, you gotta, you gotta accept that a lot of this shit is, uh, nostalgia vibes, right? I mean, you know, when you're 12 and you're watching the Mortal Kombat movie, which is just terrible, but it's, you know, it's better than most, um, of course it's amazing, but, you know. Uh, I mean, I, I know what you're saying, though. Movies have gotten, you know, as they've gotten more expensive, they have to appeal to more people. And, um, you know, they've, they've, they've gotten less, or at least a lot of them have gotten less uh, focused to just one core audience like Teenage Boys. Um, I agree with Kaki, it was forgettable. But, I mean, it, it actually had some good effects, though. Like, uh, Sub-Zero's effects in that movie I thought were pretty cool. One problem with these older Capcom, like Resident Evil style games, is um, you don't know uh, you don't really know what's interactive. So you just have to walk to anything that looks potentially interactive and press the X button. Um, I'm pretty good. How are you, buddy? Um, Reptile was a serial killer. That was a concept they were going to go with, Bukaki? Um, oh, Bloodsport. You know what? I've never seen Bloodsport. I really want to. Um, movies tried to be woke for the sake of getting investment money via... What is ESG? Blade Runner 2049. Hello, Fred. I don't, I don't know if that was a hit or not. I mean, I know it was a critical hit, but I don't know if Blade Runner 2049 made a lot of ducats or not. Uh, not yet, Master Luke. We're talking to developers right now about it. We'll have to see where it goes. What's our status? This, this security system is a snap for me. Real amateur stuff. So what exactly happened to Gale? You said that he was attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah. yeah. I couldn't believe it. I just hope he's still alive. Anyway, our first priority uh, is to complete the I'm playing this on, um... What we ought to do is just call in the chopper and get off this death trap. I'm that's, playing... That's a great idea, but Cooper has the radio, and he's missing. Uh, on just a browser, browser emulator. Hey, what's with this monitor? Oh, Mortal Kombat Rebirth, okay. That's the security monitor for the underground area. The camera's offline. 
So I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the area? Exactly. They must have that area wired to a different power system than the ground level. We can investigate that area after we finished our sweep of the ground. Environmental, level. social, government okay. score for Then I'll take care of the shutters that are blocking the way. You work your way in, grab the dock, well, and then yeah, Ronnie from movies. Back. Look, if 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 movies weren't so expensive, uh, they they could get funding from. I mean, that's not the only place you can get funding for. But if you're talking about major movies, you know, I don't know. I mean, to me, it's more about they need to travel all over the world and appeal to big audiences. Blah blah blah. I don't know. I don't. I, I, I really am not bothered by the woke thing like a lot of people seem to be. There's so many fucking games and movies that are just batshit, um, uh, violent and crazy yeah. and overtly now, sexual. What I want to know um, is where those things are coming uh, from. That when people say it like, oh, those movies don't exist anymore, I'm like, really? They don't exist. may not exist, you know, like, in the same way, in terms of the same companies making, you can store medical supplies. I will tell you, um, I, somebody mentioned Bloodsport. I've never seen Bloodsport. I would like to, to see that. And I will also tell you, on Pod and Popcorn a few weeks back, we watched um, uh, Night of the Demons uh, from the 80s, and I was very pleased to see... Uh, a movie like that um, that was very gory and very overtly sexual is cool. Um, I'm a 26-year-old audio engineer, music producer, sound. I've been working for nine years freelancer. I really want to get in the mainstream game industry. Advice? Um, make a site. Connect with people on Twitter that are in the business doing what you want to do. And uh, share them links. And not even just... Oops. Ooh, nice. Don't just share them links, but share them, um, you know, put up put up little clips and, and shorts and shit that you can share on social media of your content. And I bet people, if it's good, um, will uh, reach out to you or let them know you're looking. Um, uh, I mean, I know... I know what... Um, most people, when they say woke, at least when it comes to stuff we talk about on this stream, um, they're talking about, oh, uh, files are scattered. Oh, no. Uh, they're talking about um, guard rotation. Hang on a sec. A switch. Sure, I'll, I'll press anything. It's like, no, I'm not pressing it. Um, oh, my God. Uh I don't have a memory card. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, okay, cool. Um, Regina, I took Whoa. care of the shutter. You should be able it's to draining the life out of creativity. It's putting all creatives into a world right. environment, demanding they create what they're told to. I just, I'm just... Already? That was quick. I don't think Thanks. that's true, man. Hey, I mean, girl, I, I know people going. who are working in the yeah. creative arts. It's, it's just not accurate. I'm not saying that that doesn't exist something in, in some businesses and... So, oh, oh, oh! Oh, shit! Come on, now! What the fuck? I don't have any bullets for this motherfucking thing? I just, I, I just don't agree with you. I, I don't think you have any evidence of that happening. Uh, you know, will will certain companies say, um, you know, we would like to make sure that we have 
a diverse cast for this movie uh, because we think it's good for business or it's good for funding? Yeah. But A, not all companies, and B, do you think that's new? Movie companies forever have been going to directors and producers and saying, put this person in the movie. They're good box office. Or put this person in the movie uh, instead of someone who's more talented because uh, we have a deal with this agent that if we do this, we get a different actor for that movie. A lot of people say this stuff like these these things have been made in a vacuum over the years and it's and the artist is just has pure carte blanche to create whatever the fuck they want. Um, and it's like that's that's rarely the case when you're talking about business art. If you're talking about just somebody like making something in a painting, um, you know, and it's their own personal shit or their self-funding or their crowdfunding. Sure, you're right. Then then I think they can do whatever they want. But when you're using someone else's money, you know, they've always had uh, requirements for using their money. Hell, uh, you know, Sylvester Stallone was the guy, believe it or not, who was going to be in Beverly Hills Cop. And then they said, um, oh, we can't get him. Let's go with Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy wasn't the first choice, but now you can't even imagine the fucking movie um, uh, without Eddie Murphy. Um... Yeah, I hear the Harry Potter game is fantastic. People even who are not into Harry Potter say it's great. All right, I'm going to change games now. Not because I don't like this, but because, you know, I'm doing a lot of chatting and it's kind of hard to play a game like this. Uh, let's go. I want to put on, I want to, I want to put on, um, put on. I want to play whatever. Fuck you. Uh, uh, Apocalypse. We were talking about that a minute ago. I, I'm surprised this game holds up as well as it does. Um, hello, Guilty. Um, oh my god, Assault Rigs. That was like a launch day game. Um, is it the first one? Did you play Wolong, Wulong, whatever? Um, I played the demo a lot, and I actually enjoyed it quite a lot. But I haven't played uh, the, the final game yet. Um... Lance Hendrickson apparently was supposed to be the, the first person they wanted for the Terminator. Um, I'm just saying there's a lot of, I, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. I know there's a lot of people like you out there that feel woke is, you know, ruining everything. I just, I don't, I don't know. I, I consume a lot of media, man. I don't feel like I've missed out on media because of wokeness it, you know um dark and darker got taken down yeah wasn't it um nexon or something that accused them of uh uh using some actual code and stuff that they didn't own but nexon owned 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 created what have you um sony first party had a game in production like this and it was in production for a very long time. Um, and, and it was it was pitched as um Crash Bandicoot was done. But uh, obviously it never came out. Uh, uh, Jedi, yeah, I'm gonna play Jedi Survivor. Tell me if, uh... Is that better? But yeah, Sony had a game, um... Like this. I don't know if it to, uh... Not ship. It's forever. It's still kind of loud? Uh, okay. Well, God. Oh, you know what I bet it is? Hang on, I probably got... Yeah, one second. Sorry, my bad. One second. Okay. 
Tell me if that's if this is better. I bet it is. I'm using. I'm going back to using Streamlabs. Um, um, yeah, I don't know what it was that caused Sony to uh, cancel it or why they stopped working on it, but they sure as fuck did. Um, and I don't. You know, I was playing this tonight. This is. I never, I didn't play this a lot, but this is really, you know, for its time, and it still is fun. I mean, it's fucking never soft, um, which is weird that this game really was not anywhere close to being a big hit. Um, but they did pay Bruce William, a mi Bruce William, they played Br Bruce Willis a million dollars for this game. Um, and there's all marketing because other than seeing his face in the upper corner of the screen when you die. I don't even think there's cutscenes um, in this fucking game. Um, so, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I haven't seen any yet. Uh, I mean, yeah, plays, you know, we, I, I was working in video games for about four years when it was all 2D and there was no 3D gaming for the most part. There was a little bit. But yeah, of course, once you put the 3D graphics in, I mean, that was seismic. It was a massive deal. Hello, Wayne. You never gave this game a chance? Um, I kind of really didn't either. I was making something else. I mean, you know, when you're making games, you you really don't play anywhere near as much. Have I played Hades? Like the the... The fucking Hades, uh, from the guys who made Bastion? Yeah, that was great. Am I gonna try the Crime Boss game? What's the Crime Boss game? Oh, oh, Rocka City or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, yeah, but I'm not gonna pay 40 bucks for it. I'll wait till it drops in price because, I mean, the, it's it like a... Shit, it's sitting at like a 50 Metacritic right now. But I do hear there's some interesting aspects to it. This is kind of like a better version of Loaded. Fuck. Come on now. And what's really interesting about this game is you kind of can run past a lot of bad guys, too. Like, you don't really have to shoot a lot of these guys, but... I mean, there's no score. Oops, wrong button. But I'll tell you, playing something like this, um, you know, that's why people, a lot of people are like, uh, you know, make games, Jaffe, why don't you keep making games? I'm telling you, man, I mean, it's just, it's just different. Making games back then was very different. Um, and this was a sweet spot for me. My brain could contribute meaningfully to games at this level, but... I'm not really interested in making these big games like they have today. Um, just doesn't seem fun to me. Most of these games are 60. Well, that may be true, but I can tell you I never worked on one that was 60. Twisted Metal 1 and 2 were lucky to get to 20 frames per second. I don't know if you can save this particular game like you could on the last one. I mean, there are checkpoints... But I don't know if there's anything other. Welcome to wherever, Twisted Metal. Oh, man. I don't know. Red alert. If you were to exit, can you resume? I have no idea. I have no idea. TC Carson got paid for the first... Yeah, there's the Bruce Willis game. Uh, I could not tell you, no. I mean, 
even if I wanted to, which I don't really feel compelled to, I couldn't because I don't remember, I don't know. But that doesn't seem like something I should share even if I can remember. It seems a little private. Um, oh, I hear you welcome. I know people want to see me play it and that's why I'm not playing it right now. Because I figure when I do play it, I want to kind of have more preparation for it. Like, I want to kind of go through it by myself and come up with some good stories and, you know, some good behind-the-scenes stuff. Just to play it, I don't think would be satisfying. Einhander? I did play Einhander. I was terrible at it. Oof. Yeah, people have been saying Twisted Metal uh, Battle Royale for a long time. And I know people think that would be good, and it might. Um, or it might be annoying, I don't know. But it would, it would, I would be surprised if the team working on the new Twisted Metal right now are not exploring that. They have to be, don't you think? My understanding is Sony is supposed to be doing a showcase coming up in, uh, in June or around summer, but that's just a rumor. That's like, I think, like I said on the stream earlier today, that's like a Jeff Grubb rumor that they're gonna do a Spider-Man, PS5 Pro, and Factions uh, kind of thing, but I don't have any, you know, I think that would be great. I don't think they need to, but I hope they do. Those are always fun. No, no! Ah! Uh, this is called um, E3 starting to die this year. Do you get it? Do I get what? Uh, this is called um, Apocalypse with Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis got paid a million bucks. And there's no motion capture. I think he did uh, like a day or half a day in a recording booth and some photography. Maybe they scanned his... God damn it, really? Come on, Neversoft. Um, maybe they scanned his body for PR. Like, oh, look. Isn't that... Isn't tech cool? But there's this, this does not evoke Bruce Willis's look at all. This was built on the Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk came out before this? This seems like this came out before Tony Hawk. Am I wrong? Yeah, I had a Sega Saturn. I bought it when they had that crazy deal where you got Virtua Cop, uh, Virtua Fighter, and was it Daytona? And the hardware. It was like their last gasp at success over that Christmas, but, you know. And you know what other game holds up pretty good is um, uh, the first Insomniac game, Disruptor. That's actually, we, we played that on the stream a while ago. That's actually pretty fucking good for today's standards. Control's nice. Ridge Racer holds up, I imagine. This is not twin. I guess this is twin stick. I mean, Robotron was the first twin stick shooter. In fact, I think maybe Black Widow was the first twin stick shooter. But yeah, this was the. But yeah, this is a twin stick shooter. You're just. But you're not using both sticks. I'm to fire. I'm using the face buttons. Because this is before they had two analog sticks. 
Oh shit, run. Yeah, one was like the direct competition to this. I remember that. Okay, this looks like a boss, maybe? Oh, ah! Okay, here we go. Shit, too bad we can't stay. No! Uh, Rez, this is, um, this is just some emulator on, I'm playing in a browser. And you know what? I mean, it, it probably in a technical level makes all the sense in the world, but for a layperson like me, it's, it's weird that the PSX games, um, Smash TV was twin stick. Um that the PSX games run a hell of a lot better than the uh, NES and the SNES emulators. Blast Chamber. What was Blast Chamber? That sounds really familiar. Come on! Come on! Uh, I never had a Jaguar because it looked terrible. And Neo Geo, I could never understand why the fuck anybody would want that. I mean, I was like in college or high school and it's like, hey, buy games for 125 bucks. I'm like, yeah, you're fucking mine. Um, Boom, motherfucker. Um, yeah, you rotated the room, blast chamber. Yeah, that was single screen. Um, I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was an Activision game, actually. Thank you very much, Exmoda. Uh, yeah, it, save game. Ooh, okay. Uh, Sigh, not really, no. I mean, I was very happy working on PlayStation. Um, you know, I wasn't a programmer, so... PlayStation allowed us to do everything we wanted to do. Ooh. Look at these hillbilly fuckers. I don't think Robotron was first, though. I actually think the first twin stick was a game called Black Widow, um, which is an awesome fucking game, by the way. This was still back in the day where it's like, what enemies do you want in the sewers? Uh, put some hillbillies in there. Why? I don't know. Fred really wants to make some hillbillies. And we need him because he gets good dope. All right, put the hillbillies in. Uh, ooh, that frame rate's chugging now. Uh, 
Uh, Paranormal, that's very kind of you. Thank you, buddy. Well, I didn't... It was a bunch of us made that game, but thank you for playing it. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Travis. Good to see you, buddy. I'm doing great. How are you? What's going on? Um... Fuck you, Arethizzle. This is fucking never soft, man. Uh, thank you for being a member for 14 goddamn months, sir. I appreciate that, Travis. Um... Why is there no Twisted Metal on premium? I don't know. Um, I mean, it does. the game doesn't really hold up all that great. But there's also no God of War 1 unless you want to stream it. Um, never what, never play this game? I don't know what that means. Uh, it's a good game, though. It's fun. Man, though, look at it, Chug. I don't know if that's the emulator or if that's just the game was like that when it shipped. You know what's interesting now that it's starting to look more and more like Activision is going to get bought by Microsoft? I wonder if they could easily put shit out like this um, on Game Pass. Just like collection, you know? Because this was an active... I mean, I'm sure the license is expired. Oh! It has expired, though. <coughs> I don't hate Twisted Metal. I didn't particularly like it. Um, I thought Twisted Metal 4 was better. But neither of them feel like proper Twisted Metal games to me. But those teams made those games under insane circumstances... Um, and I'm glad they did because after I heard the full story that Single Track was trying to blackmail Sony, and Sony said, Oh, go fuck yourself. We'll just make our own and put you guys out of business. And that's what they did because they were trying to play hardball with Sony. They, they, were, they were trying to be Phil Spencer to, to Sony's Jim Ryan. Come on now. And they didn't have the chops for it. Oh, shit. Come on, now. It's pretty good, though. The Ascent? The movie The Ascent? No, that's decent, I'm thinking of. I'm not sure what you mean, sir. That's a million bucks for Bruce Willis to go, Oh! It's like, good, Bruce. That was awesome. That's just what we need. Okay. There really is no reason to kill a lot of these bad guys. I mean, I'm sure there's a reason that maybe points and shit. I like games like this, though. This game still surprisingly holds up. It's fun. I mean, I don't know, you know. If you redress this and released it today, I'm not saying it would be a fun game, but probably would be fun, but I don't know. I dig it. It's cool. Shit! Shit. Sometimes I, I think I'm going to have a little bit more uh, latitude to hit the jump button, and I just don't quite get there. Come on, Jaffy. Come on. Uh. You know what I... Yeah, oh, look at that. I bet I can... Is that air I can jump on, maybe? You know what I think it is, too? It's... Um, as much as I love a lot of these... Oh, shit. Ooh. Open world games and shit like that. Um, and, and, and freedom games. There was something nice when games just kind of took your hand and said, Look, we're going to show you this cool thing. 
and here's the challenge we want you to deal with right now. And you, you can kind of like let your brain kind of shut off a little bit more than you can these days on most games, which is a nice thing. No, no. Um, do I, I was going to say, do I shoot? Ooh, what's this? Rockets. Oh, Evil West was great, Nate W. I agree with you. That was a lot of fun. I need to finish that. I need to finish a lot of things. I don't finish games often. Ooh. Uh, I don't hate open world games. I just, I, I'm grateful that there's some, there's variety uh, in games like, this. oh shit. Yeah, this is Apocalypse. Oh, Megan's great, uh, Bukaki. I, I mean, uh, Mutemo. A lot of people kind of shit on that movie. I thought it was a great deal of fun. I liked Megan. Oh, baby, I die in video games all the fucking time. I'm terrible at video games. But just the playability in this game, you you know, as antiquated as this game feels and looks, it is still um, really nicely in playable. You can tell it was made by a group of people who knew what the fuck they were doing and really gave a shit. It looks bad. Oh, what? You think Megan looks bad? I mean, Megan is Megan. It is what it is. It's, it's a goofy, but it's still... It's goofy, but it's also kind of cool because it's, you know, all the AI shit that's going on these days. Uh, I thought it was really, really fun. Oh, come on. Uh-oh, boss time. All right, oh, alligators in the sewers. Come on now. fuck is throwing shit at me? Fuck 
fuck is that coming from? The fuck is happening in this game? Oh, Lord. Drawn to death, shutting down. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, my thoughts are it sucks. I hated that it shut down, but you know what happens. We kind of knew it was we were in danger of it. Uh, we just couldn't quite get it off the runway. All right, let's change games. This is a great game, though. I might go back. I don't know. Finish it. Come on. What are you talking to? But I might go back and play it some more. It's genuinely a... Ooh, what's this? Ooh, ooh. You know when they made this... Oh, now this looks like the opening of one, like, directly. Holy shit. This might as well sue somebody. Go this way? No. Nope. You know when they saw this level, they're like, Boys, this is almost photoreal. Oh, no, no! God damn it. Come on, Bruce. Come on, Bruce. Is there a flamethrower? There we go. When I'm not concentrating, I'll tell you why Elden Ring's my favorite. Hello, Novadamas, buddy. Eddie T, it totally does. And it, I mean, it's, it's fun. It still holds up. Which, I mean, think about that, right? The, the, the days of, like most games, not all, of course, but... A lot of games from when I was young hold up for nostalgia reasons. A couple of them hold up for gameplay, but a lot of them don't. But it is kind of cool to... Oh, my. It is kind of cool to see these older games still kind of... Oh, shit. Still kind of work. Um, all right. I'm going to focus for a second. It's getting hard. Oh, that's what you said. Come on, man. Uh, I have not finished Elden Ring. I'm almost, I've almost been able to defeat the Fire Troll, and then I've just gotten busy, so I think I'm close, or at least to finishing one of the ways to finish it. There's still so much in that game um, I haven't done. I've not, I haven't, I really have not wanted to jump into RE4 yet. I played the demo, I really liked it, but I think I want to finish Elden Ring first. Can I jump off this? There we go. Uh, this is uh, Apocalypse with Bruce Willis. Oh, yeah, Eddie T. I mean, I, I, I own it. I've got it installed. It's ready to go. I just, you know, I really want to try to finish more games than I, that I'm enjoying. And if I jump into RE4 right now, that's just going to be one other fucking game that I get 80% of the way through and I get distracted. So I'd like to try to finish Elden Ring, I don't know, maybe this week even. 
Oh, that's somebody's puppy. Look at that dog. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is really weird. I never hear people talk about this game fondly. But this is really good, actually. I'm surprised for its time it, it wasn't massive, or at least a bigger hit than it was. Um, it's a great deal of fun. Oh, oh, I see. I can go under that. Right, Eddie T, they mention it because of Bruce Willis, but it's genuinely fun. Trust me, if you've not played it, hell, you're watching it. You know good and goddamn well this game done... If you didn't know this was Bruce Willis, you, you would never know it was Bruce Willis. Goddamn, man, leave me the fuck alone. He's like, I'm a tank, that's what I do. There was paranormal, there was no movie. There was no movie associated with this. Maybe you're thinking of that Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of religious horror movie. Uh, I forget what it was called, but is that what you're thinking of? But there was never a movie called Apocalypse. Or if there was, it wasn't based on this or vice versa. Um... Remember that Demi Moore movie from back in the 90s, The Seventh Seal or something? Where it's like the end of the world and everything? That was pretty fucking cool. Oh! Dynamite Cop? Uh, I want to say I did play that. Was it an arcade game or like a Sega Saturn game or something? The camera? I dig it. I mean, you know, it's... You know, it's a fixed camera, but um, it's not bothering me. And it kind of gives me kind of fun angles and shows me cool things. Um, I mean, but again, it's an arcade shooter. It's not trying to be... I think if this was trying to be more of a sort of immersive story-based game, that it might be kind of frustrating, the camera, but because it's just really about giving me a fun time uh, with shooting, oh my god, this, there's no way I'm going to kill this thing. Ikea. Was that Demi Moore movie called Stripper, or was it called something? It was called Strip Tease, is what it was called. Like in this case, it already already came this way. Okay. Yeah, the tanks are nightmares. Um, oh my God, Mr. Bones! I remember that. And what was it? Three Dirty Dwarves. Remember Three Dirty Dwarves? All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, Travis, do I do this with other systems? Um, you know, I can. Uh, this particular uh, emulator, though, does really well for PlayStation. It has a bunch of these over here, but I've actually found that um, the... Uh, the, the, those older games tend to emulate well on an actual emulator, not a browser. Um, at least that's kind of what I, I have found. Maybe your mileage will vary, but uh, um, let's see. If I hit close, I think I'm fucked. Oh, no, I guess not. Oh, fuck you. Not now. Go fuck yourself. Um... Hercules, 
Oh man, they made a Dragon Heart game. Wow. Which emulator is this? Um, uh, PS1Fun.com. Oh, let's play Earthworm Jim. Not Earthworm Jim. Um, oh man, Fade to Black. That was the sequel for. Uh, um, uh, flashback. Land of the Babes. Come on now. Uh, let's see. They made a Hellboy game? Who knew? Oh, I loved this game. Oh, I loved this game so much. This was great. Um... Mario, I'm not, you know, look, if these guys wanted to charge, I have no problem paying for it. Um, it's just that, you know, I can get away with it and it's easy, but I, I totally have no problem giving them money for their work. This is basically underwater metal slug. Um, you know, and I don't, I don't know if it holds up, and I'm certainly not going to play it very long. I just want to see it. I haven't seen it in a long time. Um, uh, oh, Lord, Paramount, I don't care. What, paranormal, what, what do I care? That you, 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 you know, I get, I get shit wrong every day. Okay, so that's the fire, and then we have, um, okay up and down and that's pretty much it do you have a uh, fast button let's see nope oh i love games ah! like this and the look at the explosion look at the explosion man the explosion when you die it's like an implosion it's awesome Brings back memories. Good God. Come on. Is it um SNK? Um uh, I don't think so. This is just proof nostalgia is dumb? Why? This is a fun, this game holds up. It's a really good game. Oh, some of the Metal Slug team worked on this? Okay. Sounds like the beginning of uh, OPP. Just saying. Okay, how do I do this? Irem, I think was it Irem? All right, paranormal. Good night, buddy. Thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate it, man. Good to see you, sir. Ah! I dedicate this kill to paranormal. Goodbye. Good night. 
Boom, that's for you, baby. Uh, Twist, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that super chat. What's he saying? Uh, he says, Twin Ducket hath cometh out thine own bucket. Thank you, Twisted Sith. I appreciate it. Yes, this is in the hunt. Yeah, I'm with you, Paws. Oh, have you played this on a four, like a 4K big TV before? Um... Focus, Jappy. I, I, what I like about this particular shooter is it really is, I think the speed of it's really nice. So you're able, you know, use, in a lot of shooters, sometimes at least with my reflexes, I go, yeah, there's nothing I could have done about that. But this really does so far, it, it feels like it's my fault because it moves slow enough that I have enough time to really kind of process um, and kind of find the, 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 the areas in between the bullets. Um, oh, yeah, man. I, I had the... Uh, we, we, I played this... I think I had the long box, actually, of this uh, at Sony. I was using this as research for my 2D shooter. Let's see what else we can play. Oh, I love that game. I love that fucking game. Uh, hello, Bill Bones. Good to see you, buddy. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, oh, man, Celebrity Deathmatch. I just want to see who the celebrities are. Hang on. I see Marilyn Manson, Dennis Rodman. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, Dart Guns 2, of course. Rapid Reload? Okay, I'll put that on after this. I've never even heard of that. Hello, Spectre Bull. Good to see you, buddy. I've never heard of that. These games hold up well. My favorite was Resogun. Oh yeah, Resogun's great, man. Um, is Hunt Down the 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 online async game that thing? Um, Crash Team Racing. I've never played it. Believe it or not, I know. Wait, wait. The new one or the old one? The original I did, but not the not the new one. I have not played Medieval on this yet. Oh my, I remember these guys. Okay, let's see. Single challenge. Where's the online? Where's the where's the matchmaking? Oh man, Mr. T, Miss Cleo. I don't know who that is. Tommy Lee. They were Frankenstein Wolfman. They were out of people at that point. Buster Rhymes. Oh man. Okay. Oh my. All right, let's go. Yeah, celebrity in the uh, uh, in the loosest sense of the word. Oh, Hunt Down. Yeah, I've played that. I have that. It's like an 80s movie kind of thing. I'm actually kind of interested to watch the creator clash coming up in April. Because, like, Chris Raygun's in it, you know? And uh, I know Markiplier is doing the, uh, some of the announcing. My kid likes Markiplier a lot. Um, 
All right, this is terrible. I'm done with this. Uh, you know what still kind of holds up is uh, a Bushido blade does still hold up. That's true. Um, oh, my God. O.J. Simpson versus Nicole Brown. Oh, my God. You're going to hell. You're going to hell. No, not Battle Arena to Shinnan. Sorry, Bushido Blade is what I meant. If I said, yeah, I, I probably said the wrong thing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's look up. What did somebody say? Rapid something? Rapid Reload. Gunner's Heaven. Uh, I have no idea what this is. Let's try it. Yeah, Bushido Blade was awesome. Very clever game. Um... Yeah, you could limp, you could cause arms to basically not be uh, uh, functional. Um, are you more forgiving of bad video games? Um, no, I mean I'm I'm cr I'm very critical of games, um, but the age doesn't really matter. I mean, certainly I can look at something that, you know, like I mean, even Twisted Metal One is not a very good game. Um, for the time, though, it was amazing, and the multiplayer was amazing, but, um, you know, it got by so much on concept, and it got by so much on no one had done a really, a game like that before, but, you know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't hold up at all. Um, some aspects of it do, and I do think Twisted Metal 2 holds up pretty good, certainly compared to that. Um... Yeah, I agree, One Winged Angel. Twist Metal 2 does play, still plays good. I, I have no idea what this is. What is this fucking cockadoo thing? Here we go. Um, rapid reload, reload. Hey, it's Gunstar Heroes. You have an award given to 989 for half a million copies? Why would you have that? Oh, this is Japanese. You have to hit the circle button. Um, Red Steel. Wasn't that like the... What the fuck? Was the cowboy thing? Uh, I remember that. Oh, this this is like Gunstar Heroes, right? Is this treasure? I like it, though. I do not miss Star Fox, no. I was never a really big fan of that game. I, it was, I, I, I struggled with, it, it, it's almost like, it, it, it almost has the, um, it, 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 it almost has the um, same problem for my brain as Zaxxon in the arcades has, which is I just, I struggle with the perspective and, and, and being able to judge depth in that game. But see what I meant, like, in the hunt? In the hunt is interesting because it goes much slower than this. So I'm able to kind of... Can I get up here? Oh, Parasite Eve, man. That was the shit. I love that game. And Fear Effect or Fear Factor, or whatever the fuck it's called. Did this ever come out in America? Fear Effect was hard. That game, it was like an adventure game, wasn't it? Like, sort of like a Resident Evil thing with the two ladies. Uh oh, boss.
I don't think they intended for that to happen. Um. Okay, let me see if they have this game. Hang on, hang on. Um. They, I doubt they have this. Super big brother. That was Japanese, man. This game was batshit crazy. How about harmful part? Uh, nope. Those are Japanese. I don't know where you could get those. Um, somebody was saying Tomba. I never understood that game. I know that sounds crazy, but I never knew what to do in that game. Um, they should have all the game. Well, well, I'll let them know. I mean, I'm playing emulated games for free. I beggars can't be choosers. Um, Point Blake. Hey, I liked uh, I liked Project Horn Now. Remember that? Uh, I I liked the light gun games. Um, will I ever finish Dead Space remake? Yes. I mean, I I'm at chapter ten or eleven. I'm at the part where you're outside the space station. And you're uh, in zero G and you're shooting the tentacle things. Um, you know what I'm saying? That part. Um, so I think I'm close. But uh, they have sexy Paradis. Oh, okay. Parodius? Paradis? I don't fucking know. Parodius. Parodius. All right, here we go. Let's try this. Oh, man. Mutant Mo. See, I don't want to play any games like that because, like, I have to actually concentrate. And I'm, you know, I can't really chat while I'm sitting there in the... I'll load it up, though. Just take a look at it, though. They brought that in um, to Sony first party, and they pitched it to us. Um, and obviously, we didn't go with it, but it could have been a first party game. I remember uh, them pitching it to us, actually. Don't care about your story, fuck you. Hey, you with the pink hair. Woke. So woke. All right, blah, 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 blah. Go fuck your story, I don't give a fuck. All right, let's go. All right, what am I doing? Uh, quick question. Metrics, figure reports about rentals. Um, I mean, we definitely, um, we got, the only real data I ever got on rentals was sort of what Blockbuster itself released. Okay, I guess I can't get that. awesome okay yeah I never played this um can I get those apples up there I can't get on that roof. Oh, that's cool. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I never fucking played this, and you're saying part two is even better?
Yeah, 2.5D, man. I love those games. Uh, Klonoa was fucking great. Oh, shit. Come back up here, champion. I'm struggling to tell... You know, what... What is in the background. I never liked the Army Men games. Um, I don't know what truck rally Cardinal Sin... Oh, Cardinal Sin I played, yeah. Hello, Adam. Good to see you, bud. What is this? Can I do anything with this? Kingsfield. Oh, the From Software fucking thing? That looks like a car. Can I do something with that? Klonoa sounds like an STD. Okay, it does, but it's really good. It's really good. Oh, shit. Oh. Cool. Oh, look at this. A little background nonsense. What the fuck? This is good. Yeah, they're like, yeah, Jaffy, we know. Shut up. I like this. How did I miss out on this? They have both of these on PS3. Can I play them on my, oh, can I play them on my PS5? Like, streaming them and shit? Sorry, Egg. Oh, the baby! Now she's pissed. Fuck you. Ooh, I want you. He's a dick. Um, he's a total dickhead. I ever played Street Fighter, like Street Fighter 1? Yeah, I did. I played the original Street Fighter. Um, when it had the big buttons and everything. I played that in the Westwood... No, no, the uh, Santa Monica Pier Arcade, actually. I bet I can go down the chimney, right? something to blow the fog away. Killed your baby. Okay, that's what I need. No, no, you're what I need. Oh, there's a treasure chest. People are like Jaffe, you're still on the first fucking screen. I know. Shut up. You're saying this is the worst one? Or you mean Street Fighter? I've played all the Street Fighters. I'm terrible at them, but I played them. Baby, I was there when Ye Ar Kung Fu and fucking Karate Champ was in the arcades. I played them all. Come on. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, Radical. That Atari thing was fantastic. Um, so, I'm trying to figure out how to clear... Pit fighter, you goddamn right. Oh, my dog. What does he want? Does he want to go out? Probably. Uh, I didn't play the Klonoa remaster. Okay, I think I can use this bird to clear the fog. Hang on. later maybe. I like it. It's good. 
Uh, Nathan, hey, no, no, no. This is a this is an emulator in. Uh, browser uh gamecube um it had some games i liked i mean i wasn't like a massive gamecube fan obviously you know, like i i didn't love uh uh fox hunt oh that's like an B thing um i didn't love sunshine like mario sunshine i liked it um You know, so I mean, it, it, it had yeah, some of this saves progress. Yes, absolutely. Oh, I can't smoke some dope tonight. I got to get up and stream tomorrow. I'll be too uh, fucked up. Machine Head, Machine Hunter, Magic Carpet. Oh, Marvel Superheroes. It's terrible at those games, but I love them. I love them. MDK. Medal of Honor Underground is still one of my favorite Medal of Honors. Um, oh, I'm just streaming my show, Gavin and Games, Wayne B. Uh, Metal Gear. Hey, I worked on this. But it was called Mickey's Wild Adventure in uh, um, Europe. And they almost released it over here. Uh, but they ended up not being able to because of licensing stuff. It almost came out uh, about 10 years ago over here. Um, but I don't think this game holds up either. Um, no, Captain Gibbons, he says, is it weird seeing your own work on a site like this? Not at all. Um, Rambo? No, I don't, I think the industry's great right now. I think there's, people are working at all levels of budget and there's a lot of creativity in the industry right now and I think it's great. No, this was Mickey Mania. This was Mickey Mania for the PlayStation 1. Um, oh yeah, Eternal Darkness. Yeah, I'm, I'm not cold on the video game industry. I think the industry is, there's some great shit happening right now in the industry. Um, Oh, God, I no, you don't get royalties at all. I mean, even if I did get royalties, this never made any money. Um, there was a PS1 version in the UK. Um, the, the, the legal issue with this was, um, you know, the Disney licensing. Like, this game really is not very good. Like everything in this game is a one-off. Nothing's like, you know, I was, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And the team, the team went on to brilliance, uh, the Traveler's Tale guys, but th this is a very European design sensibility. Um, and so it was very short levels. Um, and it was almost like puzzle levels versus actual gameplay levels, right? Which is one of the reasons, not the only reason, but one of the reasons that this kind of didn't perform all that great. compared Because this came out the same Christmas as Earthworm Jim, and it came out the same Christmas as Donkey Kong Country. So, oh my god. Yeah, it's too hard. Like, like for example, this section here, if I would have known better. Like, you can't, this is a really hard... Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I got it figured out. Um... It's kind of hard to know what you can interact with. This was like, yeah, the boss. I wanted a much more interesting boss, and we just didn't have time. Oh, we're not at the boss yet, right? I mean, the game for its time was really cool. I'm, I'm proud of my contributions. I'm proud of the team, but, you know. I mean, look how short that level was. Um... I'll tell you what, though, the Mickey Mouse Donald Duck co-op game, boy, that's a great fucking game. Um, that 
like shit like that. It's just it's not a very satisfying. All right, fellas. Well, listen, I'm going to go take the dog out and head to bed. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, walking down memory lane with me. I appreciate it. Uh, I am going to head off and uh, prep tomorrow's stream. I will be doing a Gabin Games tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll see some of you guys there. In the meantime, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope to see you guys uh, very soon. Good night, all you guys and gals. See you soon. Bye.